I'm exhausted and you probably are too. No, you aren't lazy and there's nothing wrong with you. You are supposed to be tired if you spend almost every waking hour maximizing productivity for compensation that barely keeps you alive. Hi guys and welcome to Kufi Ayo Honest Weirdo. I hope you guys are all healthy and happy because I am not. I am so gosh darn tired all the time. And the worst part of this tiredness is that I'm so restless, so I can't even relax. I know many of you people were saying this thing is ADHD. Our new favorite mental illness. But I think it is part of this problem of overwork that is turning all of us into productivity junkies. And so when we don't have anything to do, we still can relax and switch off. On today's video, I'm discussing the different layers of why we are working all the darn time. Weekends, nighttime, holidays, every time. I understand that my audience is primarily Nigerian and a lot of us are not even employed. But don't worry, this video still has a lot to do with you because it's actually about the economy. Besides, even the fortunate smokes that have jobs are still generally ungainfully employed. But before we get into this video, leave a like and subscribe for more videos in the future about mental health and social issues that affect us. I feel like on a wide scale, a lot of us are getting this illusion that it is about working hard, not sleeping, having 50 jobs or having like 30 businesses that will get us out yeah. of this rut. But I started to realize that the problem is that the economy stinks. Hustle culture will literally have you believe that um, it's your fault, you're lazy and all of that when you can't out hustle a bad economy. It's like I try to create an analogy of it being like a burning house and the house is burning and they're telling you to take off your clothes like yeah i'll take off my clothes but that doesn't actually solve the issue of the heat we shouldn't have to deprive ourselves of every comfort every kind of happiness every kind of free time and leisure because of grinding 24 hours grinding tm like just to have a high carbohydrate diet and a leaky roof over your head Conceptualizing Nigeria as a capitalist economy fails to take in the larger picture. And that larger picture is that Nigeria was a colony and is now a new colony of the British Empire. In fact, the right thing to do is call Nigeria's economy a new colonial economy, an imperialistic economy, because the human resources and natural resources of this land belong to the imperial crown, the sovereign states. That's why we are part of the commonwealth we all know about the british empire we were taught a lot of their whitewash history in school but let me tell you what they did the british empire spread its tentacles all over the world and that is why english is even like general world language right now they spread their tentacles to the new world australia and north america and south america was not really them mostly portuguese and spanish but so that was part of the new world that's what i'm talking about so anyway they spread to north america and australia and basically wiped out the populations that were there took their lands then in places that they could not inhabit like sub-saharan africa because of malaria mosquitoes harsh weather and and rainforest they gathered the people and took to the places they could stay in that is not america and the caribbeans and turned them into slaves that is what the british empire did and they used the cheap labor and the plenty of production they were getting for basically free to fund the industrialization and that is what really made them to become the dominant powers now while they were making all like while they were doing all of this making shady deals with the selfish members of the elite class like the selfish chiefs and the rest they were also spreading their religion and their western education that help to brainwash us and numb us to the oppression we have been experiencing and are still experiencing and no don't get me wrong i am not saying that westernization is inherently bad there's nothing wrong with picking up another person's culture like i'm speaking english i'm wearing western dress and i'm using 
a western platform to share my ideas the problem is that westernization typically occurred by colonization and genocide so like it wasn't an equal exchange of culture by two by two parties that were trading with each other or intermarrying or whatever it was a tool of domination exploitation and control since we have gotten this historical backdrop out of the way let's discuss the contemporary nigerian economy you may be wondering why i'm talking about all this history and politics well it's because i'm trying to explain why the nigerian economy is such a mess for the masses there is literally no way to explain why we are so overworked and underpaid without explaining the nature of our economy. Like, you can conceptualize the Nigerian economy by comparing it to the economics of a mine in a rural community. The capitalists own the means of production. The elite or favored members of that rural community make shady deals with these foreigners to manage the mine and the miners. And this rural community will not develop to favor the miners because then they will have so much that they don't depend on the paltry wages from the capitalists. The reason, um, the reason such a community is so underdeveloped is because the real owners need it to stay that way if their own economies are to thrive. How else would they get cheap labor and cheap resources if they don't exploit this land? If miners own the means of production and the product of their labor, then there's no market for the foreigners' commodities. This is capitalism on a basic level. I can remember my primary school definitions of technology as anything that makes completing tasks easier and faster. And I expected that the more technology we have, the less we have to do. But that's not what happened because, for example, if 100 years ago, you could only cut down one tree in 24 hours and then the chainsaw was invented and you could now cut down maybe one tree in two hours that would not mean that you have the remaining 22 hours to relax no your employer is still going to want you to cut down many trees and even if you're self-employed you're still going to want to cut down many trees in your 24 hours and maximize your productivity so what technology really does is help our employees, I mean our employers and even ourselves to extract more productivity from us. And you may be wondering, okay, so what is wrong with extracting productivity? Like, don't we all benefit by there being more? The honest truth is that most of our labor is being spent producing things that we don't need when there are actually things we need that we are not spending money on. And that's because the wealth is distributed weirdly. Like, 0.1% of the population has more than 90% of the population. So all these things we are producing is mostly going to that 0.1% while the 90% stays in perpetual lack. But let's go on to the next chapter. Okay, so I've been wondering for a long time and it just made sense to me like a few months ago. Why is it that the the products of our labor is getting more and more expensive but our wages are not increasing the labor is even intensifying without the wages increasing and i now realize that oh yeah for stuff to be produced there are many costs that come into the um that need to be accounted for for example you need good and cheap power supply you need good and cheap internet you need good and cheap transportation you need security and you need good economic policies for the cost of production to be lower enough for you to still profit as a small business owner as a business owner while paying your workers a reasonable wage but we have none of this in nigeria because we have an evil stooge of the go of a government our government is not representing the interests of the people. They are like managers in a company. They are representing the interests of the employers, the real owners, not us. Like I have already explained to you that the global economy needs underdeveloped countries to exist for there to be countries that are so rich and so developed. So what are our options? Well, our options are that we can either keep taking off pieces of our clothing, hoping to get coal, or we can put out the fire or we can leave the burning house and go to 
another house that is not burning, that is flourishing, that we help build, that we are being forced to get visas to go into because we are no longer part of the empire. See, there is nothing wrong with Nigerians. Nigerians are just a product of our environment. Where doing crime is requirement. <laughs> I'm sorry, when I wrote this line, I was like, no, like this is a kind of lie completely. But for real, but for real, this is the same thing that is affecting the black American community. Like, there is no way people will be abused for centuries and they will not show symptoms of their trauma when they are so called liberated. And imperialism did not start now. There have been times where Western civilization and white people were not seen as superior because they were not the dominant group. Right now, they're the dominant group. So the dominant perspective is the mainstream perspective. And it's only now that black people, women, gay people, and the rest are having their voices being added to the dominant um, ideology. So if you are one of the marginalized group in this system, then you're going to like see yourself from the perspective of and another person and because of the us versus them dynamic that we see all around human nature the the people that you're, you're like seeing your perspective from the eye of another is going to paint you badly because they are they're seeing you as the other so you're not going to get i don't know how to explain this thing and i think i should do a video about this thing they're going to get like a view of yourself that comes from the perspective of another instead of your own view of yourself and then you believe that view that diminishes you because for some reason a lot of us have this mindset that we are in like i think everybody has a little bit of narcissism like you're superior to other people around you so if you see yourself on the perspective of another person you are going to be seen as inferior and you're going to like learn that perspective and use it in your daily life and not even realize it like internalized oppression that's what it's called finally i know that other parts of the world are also experiencing economic problems but like i felt like i should cone down what i'm talking about to just the nigerian experience so if you have not yet subscribed what are you even waiting for like this is what i do and i'm very tired right now and i'm going to leave like links in the description if you want to check out what i've said so you can just check them out remember to like and leave a comment what do you think do you think what do you think we can do? Like, do you think this is why we are suffering? Till next time. Bye.